Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. This is my top five Ted Lasso season one. These are the things, top five things I love the most about season one of Ted Lasso. Aspects of Ted Lasso season one that I enjoyed. If I had to make a top five list, which I am, of things I love about Ted Lasso season one, this is it. This is that list. Starting off with number five. I mean, so much good things from this show. We have to start somewhere. And that's, that somewhere starts with one man. One man who knows football is life. That is the one, the only, Danny Rojas. He is the character. Didn't have a big impact necessarily on the show. Uh, two, the episode Two Aces, he was kind of, this was his, uh, I believe the episode he was brought in to the show. Um, a new player from Mexico to the AFC Richmond gang. Uh, the only person in this show to have more positivity, I would say, than Ted Lasso. Danny Rojas, and in that episode that he is introduced, uh, he is the much-needed uh, source of positive energy as that episode finds Ted uh, dealing with his divorce, dealing with the end of his relationship. Uh, so it really lets Danny Rojas be that bright, shining light of positivity. Uh, so he is coming in at number five. I just enjoy this character so much. He, you know, it doesn't really, I think that was his biggest episode, the, uh, the uh, Two Aces episode, but um, just a character that hopefully gets more to do in the new season. Uh, but yeah, Danny Rojas, number five, just because he's the only character to somehow exude more positivity than Ted Lasso himself. Uh, so that's my number five. My number four favorite thing about Ted Lasso season one is the Ted Lasso isms. These are sprinkled throughout every episode uh, that are just amazing examples of the, the smart writing that uh, create this show. Uh, Ted being having his own kind of, you know, coming from where he came from in the U.S., uh, his, his positivity, he has, you know, these little sayings and these little things that are, are pretty common in the sports world. There's a lot of, uh, like, common sayings and uh, mantras that people will say uh, to stay motivated or to be inspired. Um, and Ted has a lot, Ted speaks with a lot of those isms, uh, but very unique to Ted himself. And I wish I had a list of Ted Lasso isms throughout this, this, uh, show, but, uh, it's just something that they're like throwaway too. Like you'll, it'll just be within conversation. He'll throw them out and it's just really clever, uh, funny, quippy things that, uh, coach Beard, I think, uh, is the only one to really go back and forth with him. Uh, maybe some of the other Diamond Dogs as well. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun little flourish to that character of Ted Lasso uh, for him to have all those Ted Lasso-isms. Uh, but that's my number four. The, the sprinkling of Ted Lasso-isms throughout this, this show to, like, really flesh out the character in a bit, in, in, a, in a way, but add more to the character as well. Um, I mean, they all they all fit with who Ted Lasso is as a character. All these these fun sayings and things that he says. Uh, but that's my number four. My number three favorite thing about Ted Lasso season one is the episode I was talking about earlier, episode six, Two Aces. This is the episode where we see Ted Lasso being depressed. So we see him outside of his normal positive self. We're seeing an episode where Danny Rojas is introduced, who is a bright, shining light of positivity, especially when Ted Lasso is being uncharacteristically emotional. Uh, you're actually seeing this is the episode where they finally break through to Jamie Tart. And Jamie Tart, the, the, the cohesiveness of the family of, of AFC Richmond has finally been achieved. And they have their two aces. Ted has Danny Rojas and Jamie Tart. And if he, if he can get them all to be a family, then sky's the limit as far as their potential. Uh, 
but of course, you know, this was still when Rebecca was trying to destroy the team. Um, but it had a great scene. I mean, we're introduced to Danny Rojas in, in Two Aces. He gets injured, and we find out the, the haunted history of their, their, uh, their athletic room, their athletic training room, uh, or medical room. I forget what the, that room is called, but it's haunted. And they, but they do a seance kind of a thing. They do a sacrifice at the end of the episode where they all bring uh, something that mem that's memorable to them. And uh, you really got to see a little bit from each of the characters, especially Jamie Tart. You got to see uh, how you actually get to see in that episode, you get to see how his mother views and encouraged Jamie versus the last episode of the season where you see how his father uh, tries to uh, control Jamie. Um, but yeah, just a great episode. It's an episode that I remembered, you know, it, it, it hits emotionally, you know, to see Ted finally get them all together. They, they set the, all of their things on fire, passing around the bottle of tequila because Danny Rojas is healed. Uh, just a great episode. I just, I love that episode so much. It was so much fun and it was, you know, it, it really felt like, um, it felt like things were headed in the right direction. Of course, it ends on a down note. It ends with Jamie Tart being given back to Man City, but, uh, it, it, it's, it's an episode that made you believe in Ted. Like, you, you finally saw what he was trying to do and be successful at it, if not for the cancerous Rebecca, uh, who was still trying to sabotage the team. So, number three is my favorite episode, episode six, Two Aces. Uh, moving on to my second favorite aspect of Ted Lasso, season one, is the darts scene. This is a scene where Ted and Rebecca are going to the pub in order to meet with some of the minority shareholders in the team, the Milk Sisters. Uh, but when they show up, they come to find out that Rupert had used a bit of a loophole in order to purchase back some shares of the team, which he no longer had. Uh, but he used his new girlfriend, Bex, who is, surprise, surprise, also his new fiance. Uh, he gave her the money to purchase the team. So even though he was not allowed to own any shares of the team. Now, through marriage, uh, he kind of is uh, tangentially involved. And uh, in order to try and uh, help Rebecca, because Rupert's plan was to show up to every game and publicly criticize every wrong move Rebecca was making, uh, Ted challenges Rupert to a game of darts. And Ted gives a nice as Ted does, these little speeches about how he's always been underestimated his entire life and how he, he's understood how to use that to his advantage. Um, and it's a great scene. It's a great scene of him and Rupert playing darts. Uh, it's just a great scene to see Ted uh, trying to help out his friend, who he feels was a friend in Rebecca, uh, despite the fact that she was still at this point trying to uh, sabotage AFC Richmond. Um, but it's a great scene, a great moment uh, in the show of, of Ted defeating Rupert uh, in order to uh, maintain Rebecca's honor in some ways. A uh, great scene that I, I really enjoyed. And the, the speech that he gives uh, is, is great. It's great to be underestimated and uh, to prove people wrong is a great thing. Uh, so that's my second favorite aspect of Ted Lasso season one. I'm speaking about darts. Uh, and moving on to my number one, the number one thing that I love the most about season one of Ted Lasso is the moment where Jamie Tart is trying to get out of practice by saying he's not feeling well. Ted Lasso not in the best headspace. He's going through his own stuff. And he gives Jamie a, a talking to. You get to see Ted Lasso in a rare form in this moment where he gives Jamie Tart the practice speech. This is a, a speech that was repurposed 
from I believe an Al Allen Iverson uh, interview that he that took place during a press conference, either after or before an NBA game where he didn't show up to practice, and he's talking about how you know practice isn't the game, and it's like what are you talking about practice? Like it, it's an amazing thing that these writers did to flip that on his head to have a coach use that same speech in order to talk shit to a player who doesn't want to go to practice for a player who's a, a giant all-star similar to like an Al Allen Iverson. Uh, and it's just great. It's a great thing to see not only Ted assert himself in that way, you know, it shows, it shows that Ted Lasso has some balls, has some cojones, you know, he's not just going to let people walk all over him and, gaslight them into just getting away with doing whatever they feel like doing because they they don't feel like being part of the team they don't feel like properly preparing for a game it's amazing i enjoy it so much the fact that it flips that original speech on its head is amazing the fact that it, it puts jamie tart in his place for once in front of the whole team, like it's just, it's probably the most badass Ted Lasso. Aside from the dart scene, you know, like this one, he was badass in front of the team. Like the team saw, like, okay, you can't just walk over Ted. Ted's just not a, a pushover. He wants you to do shit, and if you don't do shit, he's gonna get at you about it. And uh, Ted giving that practice speech is the best. I would imagine a lot of actors have used that speech for monologues. Uh, it just makes sense, and it was great. A great performance as well. Um, but yeah, that's my number one aspect of Ted Lasso season one that I love the most. That's the moment that I loved by far the most in, this, in the first season. Uh, great first season. I did uh, episode by episode recaps of season one. If you love Ted Lasso, go check those out. I will be, by the time this episode gets released, season two will have started, and I will be doing episode by episode recaps of every episode of season two of Ted Lasso. Uh, those will be, those will come out on Tuesday as they have uh, the past couple months as I've been recapping season one. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy Ted Lasso, uh, go watch it. If you, I mean, if you don't, in I, if you never watched it, get Apple TV plus like five bucks, binge it and then cancel. Uh, but I love Ted Lasso. It's a lot of fun, uh, a great show, a show of positivity like just uh, just a uh, uh, much needed breath of fresh air uh, when it comes to a character that really pushes for positivity uh, while so many characters, uh, whether they be fictional or realistic, uh, tend to be pushing for negativity. Uh, so yeah, that's my top five Ted Lasso season one things I love. Uh, let's go over my list one more time. Number five is Danny Rojas, Football is Life. Number four is Ted Lasso isms. Uh, think like a goldfish is a good one. Uh, number three is episode two aces. Episode six, two aces, I should say. Uh, my number two pick is the darts game with uh, Ted and Rupert. And my number one thing I love the most about Ted Lasso season one is the practice speech. Let me know what your five favorite things are about season one, Ted Lasso season one. I want to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on social media at Ray Taylor. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'll be back next Tuesday with episode one, season two, episode one of Ted Lasso. So check that out. Get yourself $25 in new credit when you sign up for your great new cell phone service over at Ting. Go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash Ting. Sign up now with that link, and you get yourself $25 to put towards a new device, put towards your service. But it's a great quality service that you do not pay an arm and a leg for. I love it. I've been using it for years and pay so very little. I could almost pay two months 
of my cell phone bill with $25 credit that you get for free when you go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash ting. That's T-I-N-G, inspireddisorder.com slash ting. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspireddisorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch!